Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is Coogan Cassius for IFL TV. With the final press conference here at the O2 um, for Joyce and Chizora. I'm joined by Colin Hart. Colin, how are you, first of all? Very well. For an old man, doing good. Right, I was going to say speaking of old men, but I don't want to be disrespectful to these guys, obviously, but they're in the latter stages of their career. I think we know that. Um, who has more to lose? Is it Chizora for you? Uh, well, I'm afraid it's very difficult to pick because, in my opinion, they're both well past their best. And I think they won't be able to get out of the way of each other. So I would think Joyce would be a slight favourite because I think Chizora is more shop born than Joe. It's interesting because a lot of people can't actually see how this fight plays out, even where the winner of this fight goes. They're at that kind of situation. I mean, Chizora still says he's going to fight on for another two fights, yeah. regardless of whether he wins, loses or draws. I mean, I, I suppose a lot of the bones will be picked out come Sunday morning. Well, I've also, in my newspaper, The Sun, I've said, win, lose or draw, I hope. This is Chizora's last fight. I think he should have packed up after the, after the second Fury fight a couple of years ago. He took a very, very hard belting in that, in that fight at the top. The third Fury fight, you mean? The third one? That's, that was the third one you were talking about? I thought it was the second. No, they fought each other three times now. Yeah, well, that was the third. You're quite right. Sorry, my mistake. I told you I was getting old. Um, I can remember two, can't remember three. Uh, no, he, he took a very bad beating that night, and he's been round the block a few times. He's fought Fury, as you say, three times, Joe Parker twice, Pulev twice, Vitaly Klitschko, Vladimir Klitschko, David Hay. He's fought everybody in a long, hard career, and I think... He's got nothing to prove, and I'd love to see him pack it in. Well, you remember the second fight? It was on the same card as Billy Joe Saunders and Chris Eubank back at the XL, possibly around nine or ten years ago. That was the second fight. Right. So, yeah, yeah they've yeah, had a trilogy. The fight was a Commonwealth title fight. I do at Wembley that. Arena, yeah. Yeah, so, I don't know, as I say, every so often I have a senior moment, so one of them has obviously escaped me. A huge fight coming up in September. Obviously, it's going to be 80, 90 plus thousand people at Wembley to see Anthony Joshua and Daniel Dubois. Are people being too dismissive of Daniel Dubois, in your opinion? Well, um, you've got to give uh, Daniel credit for what happened after he lost to Usyk. He beat Hrtovic, the uh, Croatian, and boxed beautifully that night. But what really worried me worries me going into the September fight with uh, Joshua. He took a lot of right hands in that early rounds against Hertzovic. And if he does that against Joshua, he'll be knocked out. I can't see Joshua losing to him, to be honest. But he can punch as well. And if he... It's a question, who can land the first tremendous punch on the chin? Who's first with it wins the fight? And I think it will be Joshua. It's a very intriguing fight. I think Daniel Dubois' last two performances against Gerald Baby, uh, Big Baby Miller and Hergovic have made this fight now very interesting against Joshua. Well, I say the performance against Hergovic was top class. As I say, he uh, coming back from that fight with Usyk, people would, like me, have said, well, I don't think he's going to get very far now. And then he came back quite brilliantly and deserves this big fight with uh, Joshua. Now of course if he wins he could have another fight with Joyce if Joyce should win but it's all ifs and ifs and ifs um, but if he beats Joshua he's right up there in the mix isn't he? Just the final one, Colin. Every year we try and map the path out to how we can see the most sought-after fight in, in world boxing, I'll say, in Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury. A lot has to happen. Obviously, Tyson Fury has to overcome Alexander Usek in December, and, and Joshua has to beat Dubois. Do you see a situation where we will still see that fight between AJ and Fury? We've been waiting for this for years. We've thought we were close to getting it done a long time ago. It didn't happen. 
I would love to see it happen because that is the whole fight. That is the fight which is bigger than a Usyk fight for me. In Britain, at Wembley, you would get another 94,000, 100,000 to see Joshua and Fury. I just hope that it does happen. We've waited so long. It's like waiting for uh, you know, Mayweather and Pacquiao. Let's hope it doesn't wait. We don't wait too long, and therefore it becomes meaningless. Who wins, Carl Froch or Anthony Joshua? <laughs> well, I mean, you know, we can talk. What have you made of that? All that? Well, I think they're both being a bit silly, to be honest. I mean, you know, Foch was a great warrior, and uh, you know, he he's a super middleweight against a very big heavyweight. You know, it's the old story: good biggins beats good littlins. Mind you, knowing Carl and knowing what a warrior he is. It wouldn't surprise me. I wouldn't be shocked if he did win. But, you know, I mean, it's never going to happen. It's all hypothetical, and we can have fun over a drink talking about it. But if it ever did happen, you'd have to go with the big man. A complete fantasy question for everyone uh, jumping in the comments there. Colin Hart, thank you very much for your time. We look forward to the, the final press conference here. Yeah, I'm sure Derek Chisora will be Derek Chisora, shall we say, in this press well, conference. One thing is a one-man soap opera, that, you know, full of chaos and controversy. I've covered nearly all his fights throughout his career. You never know what he's going to do or say next. And that's the beauty of him, you know. He is a very brave fighter. He's, the crowd love him because he gives everything in the ring. He never stops fighting. Not long to find out. Colin, thank you very much for your time and uh, we look forward to a great night here at the O2 on Saturday night. Thank you very much. My pleasure, as always. Wall Street memes casino. I'm fine. And sportsbook.